issues that will boost your membership site profits. Two pricing mistakes to avoid. Now, when you get to the task of pricing your membership site, be sure to avoid these two mistakes. Number one, neglecting to do pricing research and testing. How many marketers base their pricing solely on their own income goals? And while you should take your goals into consideration, you also need to be sure you're doing the research and testing that will help you pick the most profitable price. Number two, not taking value perception into consideration. So you need to look at how you present your offer, which can affect perceived value and price. Say for example, you can build premium branding, which will affect all your prices. How to frame your price for maximum conversions. If you have a fixed term or ongoing membership site, then focus on the smallest amount your members will pay. For example, if your site is $15 a month, then you can frame the price as 50 cents a day. And when you get people focusing on the smaller increment, they're going to realize it's affordable. Now, which is better, free trial or low-cost trial? Now, one good way to boost your profits is by offering a free or low-cost trial. But which one is better? Consider these factors as you make your decision. A low-cost trial makes it easy for you to get credit card information. Now, even if you just charge a dollar for a trial, you can set up your payment processor to automatically collect the full membership fee once the trial ends, unless members cancel, of course. Now, a low-cost trial brings in serious buyers. The people who give their credit card information are likely to be serious about wanting to be members rather than tire kickers. Now, a free trial will attract a larger number of people. And you can then follow up with this list to encourage them to become paying members as well as to promote related offers. Now, think about your business goals and audience to determine which trial option will work best for you. Or better yet, Test them so you know for sure what works best. Three questions to ask when splintering content. One way to pre-sell your membership site and boost your profits is by splintering content from the site and offering it as a free lead magnet or a low-cost trip wire. As you set about the task of determining which piece of content to splinter, Use these questions to help you make the final decision. What is one of your best pieces of content? For example, what lesson or bonus is really popular and high value? Which content naturally leads people wanting to join your membership site? Or which piece of content is easy to splinter, meaning it works well as a standalone product? Next. How to use payment options to boost profits. Now, one way to boost your profits is by giving customers an option of how they'd like to pay their membership fee. For example, you might offer PayPal, Amazon payments, or you may even accept credit cards by phone. Now, you may need to do some research and testing to determine what sort of payment options your audience prefers. Secondly, if you've set up a bold site where members pay one fee one time and receive instant access to all content, then you may offer a payment plan. For example, if your bold site is $197, you might offer a plan with two $99 payments or a payment plan with four $50 payments. Now, how to get customers to spend more money on the order form? There are two ways to boost your purchase action amount. Number one, raise your prices, which may or may not be an option for your membership site. For example, you may raise your membership fee from $10 to $15 per month. Number two, offer upsells and cross-sells on the order form. So for example, if you're selling access to a copywriting membership, you may cross-sell sales letter templates and swipes on the order form. 
five examples of cross cells. While cross cell and upcell are used interchangeably, a cross cell is actually a related product, while an upsell is when you offer a premium version of the current offer. Now, here are examples of cross cells that you might offer on your order form or elsewhere in your sales funnel for two different niches. Weight loss membership cross sell examples. Promote a related membership site, such as one focused on bodybuilding for fat loss. You can offer personal coaching to help members achieve their goals and sell additional meal plans and recipes. Online marketing membership cross-sell examples. Sell related tools such as WordPress plugins to help people optimize their sites for the search engines. You can sell done-for-you services such as setting up and running a Facebook ad campaign. Next, examples of upsells. Now, two examples of upsells. Now, as I've mentioned, an upsell is a premium version of an offer. So here are examples of upsells that you might offer on your order form or elsewhere. Offer a deluxe or a platinum membership with more perks, such as advanced materials and access to a private group. If you're selling monthly training that arrives in PDF form, then you might upsell deluxe training with the video modules. Next, three elements of a good OTO. Now, as the name implies, a one-time offer is something your customers will only ever get to see once on the order form. Now, here are the elements of a good OTO. The offer should be exclusive. This means the product isn't available anywhere else, or the offer or price or bonuses have never been offered anywhere else. So be sure the offer is really attractive. Now, if your OTO is based on offering a discount on a product, then make this discount irresistible. For example, 10% off isn't going to get too many takers, but something around 25% off will get attention. Now, anything up from there, such as 50% off, will make your offer truly irresistible. So create an OTO that complements the membership site. Now, a good OTO product makes it faster or easier for members to achieve their goals. For example, offering personal coaching as an OTO is a great offer because people who get personal guidance will get better results. Next, three ways to use bonuses strategically to boost profits. A good bonus can boost the perceived value of your membership site and increase conversions. So here are three ways to use your bonuses strategically. Offer a bonus that handles an objection. For example, if a common objection is that people don't have time to complete the process you teach in the materials, then offer a bonus such as a tool that speeds up the process. You can offer a delayed bonus. So this bonus reduces refunds and boosts member retention. For example, you might offer an enticing bonus every two or three months. Now, offer an unadvertised bonus. This boosts customer satisfaction, which in turn increases member retention. Now, here's the next set of ideas. Six surefire promo ideas to generate sales. Need a quick surge of sales? Now check out these promos you can do for your membership site. Introductory launch week special with charter membership pricing. Buy one, get one. You can offer a buy one month, get one month free price. A free or low cost trial offer, such as a dollar for the first month. You can offer a flash sale, where you offer a really good deal for a very short amount of time, such as 24 hours. Now, coupon promos, where you and your affiliates distribute coupons good for discounted memberships. You can also offer bonus promos, where you offer more value in the form of extra bonuses for the same regular price. Now, here's another way to drum up new sales. 
how to encourage members to refer their friends. Now, some of the warmest traffic you'll ever receive is when you have satisfied members referring their friends. And one of the best ways to encourage this is by starting a referral program, especially a two-way referral program. This means that both the member and the referral get some sort of discount when the referral becomes a paying customer. For example, you might offer the referral and the referring member 50% off a month of membership. Now, getting repeat sales the easy way. Satisfying your members is the number one thing you need to do in order to generate back-end sales. Now, here's another way to boost those sales. Develop a loyalty program. For example, you might offer points for every month that your member stays a member, along with points for other offers they purchase from you. And members can then turn their points in for free or discounted products, including free months in your membership site, as well as other valuable products. For example, buy six months in the membership site and get your seventh month free. Now, questions to ask before raising your prices. Raising your prices boosts your person traction amount, and it may even boost your conversion rates, as prospects often associate higher prices with higher quality. Now, before before you raise your prices, ask yourself these two questions. Can I justify a higher price? So look at the perceived value you're offering. If people think they're getting an amazing deal now, then it would be pretty easy to raise your prices without adding in any extra value to the site. Now, how will higher pricing affect my profits? As mentioned, in some cases, you may end up with higher conversions, but that's not always the case. And you need to be prepared for conversions to stay the same or even drop. So be sure to crunch a variety of numbers so you know how much you need to make on the front end and back end to meet your income goals. Here's the next profitable tip. Adjust to your members' needs. Now, in order to keep making profits, you need to adjust to your members' changing needs and expectations. For example, your niche landscape may change fast and your member content needs to stay on top of these updates. So just a tip, check in with your members regularly to gather feedback. Find out if you're meeting their expectations and what recommendations they have for making the site even more valuable to them. Create a quick start guide. As your site grows, it can be a little overwhelming for new members to log in and see the vast resources available to them. That's why you want to create a quick start guide which gives people a step-by-step -step guide to getting the most out of the site and getting a jump start on the niche process or goals. So be sure your quick start guide includes quick wins or information your members can put to use immediately and see good results. Three ways to ask for testimonials. Testimonials from satisfied members can help you convert other prospects to paying members. To that end, here are three ways to ask for testimonials. Insert a request inside your membership site. And put a request at the end of each email you send. So occasionally, send out an email for the specific purpose of gathering testimonials. Now make a personal request such as asking webinar attendees to submit a testimonial. Just be sure to make it easy for people to send you their testimonials such as by linking to an online form or providing an email address. Create a member case study. Another way to provide proof and boost conversions is by sharing case studies. As a bonus, this strategy also cements loyalty among the subjects of your case study. Now follow these tips. Solicit case study subjects regularly. Post in the member area of group, email your members about it, and mention it inside your membership materials. And screen potential candidates. Be sure to pick someone who's likely to follow through 
as well as someone whose profile closely matches your ideal customer, as this will help prospects relate to him or her. I'll showcase successful case studies. Post them on your blog, share them on social media, email them to your list, and ask your affiliates and marketing partners to distribute them. Next, make it easy for people to upgrade or downgrade. If you have multiple levels in your membership site, then ideally, members should be able to upgrade or downgrade their memberships themselves without any manual intervention from you. Now, in particular, people who are thinking about canceling a higher level of membership should be encouraged to downgrade their membership rather than canceling. Now, how to test pricing to boost sales. You'll need to do some price testing in order to find your pricing sweet spot, the price with the most profits, which is best conversions and fewest refunds. Here's what to test. Test the big price. For example, you can test prices such as $10, $17, and $27. Now, test smaller increments. For example, if you're charging around $19, then test $18.99 or $19 or $19.97 and $19.99. Be sure to use a good split testing tool like splittestmonkey.com or the tool of your choosing. Next, check your traffic logs. This will give you insight into how people are using your site. And you can use this information along with user feedback to improve your site. For example, if you notice that members are using the search function or even your help desk a lot in order to find specific pieces of information, that's a signal that your site needs to be better organized and more user-friendly. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time with me. You have a wonderful day.